hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i want to show you a new functionality in mesh morpher which allows us to programmatically set bone transforms at runtime and uh, uh to do that we have to use a new uh, component in uh, mesh morpher which is called uh, dynamic skeletal mesh component uh let's uh, load it in our blueprint here let's set uh, the skeletal mesh Okay, let's load the blueprint as well. And uh, let's set the visibility for this component so we don't see it. Okay, uh, let's compile and uh, let's test it out. So, this is our uh, uh, dynamic skeletal mesh component and uh, what we want to do is programmatically change bone transforms right and uh, keep using animations and every every uh, aspect of uh, the animation uh, framework right so we want to to be able to use it like a normal skeletal mesh component but with the ability to to set bone transforms right so let's test it out or uh, let's add uh, Let's add an input key here, so, so we can enable uh, when we press a key, input key Z, yeah, let's uh, let's do it on uh, Z, uh, uh, press, right? And uh, let's drag our uh, uh, dynamic skeletal mesh component, and uh, let's get bone transform by name and we will uh, get hand underscore l and we will do the same with uh, uh, the right side right okay uh, let's uh, plug this in and now we want to change uh, let's uh, change the scale right so we will just do some simple stuff let's uh, uh, multiply this and let's put here 1.1 so every time we press uh, Z key we will scale uh, the hand uh, by 1.1 uh, uh, right and uh, now let's drag again the skeletal mesh component and set bone transform by name we will do it like this okay uh, let's make a transform and let's plug in location rotation and the, the modified scale uh this is a uh, we plug this in because we only change the scale right so and uh, let's do the same for uh, the other hand let's split plug this in and uh, we will set here hand l and and right and let's test it out let's uh, compile and uh, let's run our uh, game and uh, by pressing Z we will see that our hands uh, get scared right we can do another thing uh, we can um, open mesh morpher for example open the queen uh, mesh go to poser and uh, we can uh, select for example upper upper arm let's enable symmetry uh, let's select upper arm L and set uh, here a scale of 0 0.2 so too small let's make it 0 seven zero five so let's uh let's export uh, this to a bone snapshot small hands we will give it a name more hands let's save it 
and now uh, we can also load our bone snapshot uh, so we we don't have to uh, do it uh, by uh, uh, manually selecting bones we can use directly a bone snapshot right and we will select the load bone snapshot uh, node and uh, we select small hands and now we can test it out and uh, this is how it looks and uh, we can also increase uh, uh, the hand uh, scale by pressing Z so it, you can really customize uh, programmatically any bone this is pretty cool that uh, we can achieve this uh, kind of uh, customization and uh, yeah uh, we can also uh, if uh, we require we can uh, we can uh, load uh, this uh, bone snapshot on construction script so if uh, we go here and uh, go to construction script and plug this in and compile this will be visible as well in editor right so uh this is it for this video guys i hope you like this new functionality uh this is unique and uh this is uh only in mesh morpher and uh yeah this is it see you around bye